morning, we are one day away now from getting transported to the world of knights and castles. News Channel 5's Kristen Scovere gives us a tour of Tennessee's Castle Gwyn before the Renaissance Festival begins. Rising from the forest about an hour south of Nashville are the towers of Castle Gwyn. Yeah, I've been living here for the last 30 years. Mike Freeman is the founder of the Tennessee Renaissance Festival and the keeper of the castle. For more than three decades, he's been building and adding on to the structure, both inside and out, fashioning gates and turrets, even this enormous doghouse for his prized Scottish wolfhounds. When I was a senior in high school, I, uh, started drawing the plans to it as an architectural drawing project. Freeman took me on a tour, starting in the elevator, up the tower, and into a room filled with knights in shining armor. This is probably the fanciest gothic suit of armor ever made. It has fleur de -lis and hearts all the way through every little bit of it. There's original paintings, ornate tapestries, and windows that look out over the Tennessee landscape. You may recognize this section of the castle from Taylor Swift's Love Story music video. To keep up with construction, Freeman says he worked two-day jobs, both as a photographer and a host. He started the annual Renaissance Festival as a way to live in the castle year-round. It's kind of like an art, food, and craft fair in the 16th century. It's like a walk back in time. Year after year, more than 60 artisans from all over the country come to Castle Gwen. There's jousting, games, and contests for kids. The queen has a knighting ceremony for the children, you know, and they have a costume contest. And what the kids don't know, they all win. <laughs> Freeman says this will be his 34th festival, fulfilling a dream he's had since childhood, which he says turned out better than he ever imagined. I've had a whole lot of help from a whole lot of people who have also shared in the dream to make this all possible. Kristen Scovira, News Channel 5. You know, you can see part of that from 840, so it's so cool to see inside. What an incredible job he's done. And you can visit that castle and enjoy the festivities every weekend during this month all the way through Memorial Day. And we have more information right now on NewsChannel5.com. And we will be live out there tomorrow morning to show you all the excitement. That's going to start at 6 a.m.